Hi guys, Gopal here. In this video, we'll be discussing about the touch bar issue of the MacBook, which uh, in which the touch bar of the MacBook was completely blank or it doesn't show any icon and it was completely unresponsive. So uh, what actually happened that I was using my MacBook and uh, someday before the touch bar of the MacBook got uh, hang because of my Safari. So what I did was that uh, a quick restart and after that, the uh, this touch bar was completely black and it doesn't show any icon and it was completely unresponsive. So, how did I fix it? So, I tried um, five methods in which the fifth method worked for me. So, I'm telling you uh, one by one so that you can go with one by one and uh, whichever method uh, works for you, you can go for it. So, the first one is the using activity monitor. In the activity monitor, just search for the control strip. Control strip and just do a force quit for the same because actually what control strip does that it shows the, um, the brightness, sound, the sound and the CD actions over there, right, in, inside our touch bar. So it uh, stops that, uh, it force quits, force quit that service. The second is uh, um, uh, kill out the touch bar server, right, kill out this using the force step, for, force quit. So it actually does that, uh, it uh, kill out the touch bar server. So if a touch bar is in hang mode, so it will, cure out that problem as well now the second method is using the terminal if it doesn't work for us let's say if the activity monitor doesn't work for us or inside the activity monitor what happened what happened to me that inside the activity monitor I was not able to find the control strip so what you need to do is that you need to do some command that is kill your uh, uh, touch bar agent then kill your strip your control strip sorry so this is our method 2 but you need to do an extra what to say thing in the method 2 that is you need to do a restart of your mac uh, why this is necessary because what you are doing that you are killing out the processes like uh, control strip is a process so you are killing it that process for the touch bar agent, you are stopping that agent to work. So that you need to do that. You need to restart uh, the service, uh, this processes and these agents. So what you need to do with that is to restart your system, right? Then only uh, those processes will get started. Our third method is resetting the SMC. SMC stands for System Management Controller. It's same like we are uh, resetting. It's the controller of the machine, right? So what you need to do is uh, and for this method, you need to uh, shut down your system i could not show it over the screenshot because it needs to be shut down and i don't have that setup so what you need to do is shut down your system then you need to press some buttons the buttons are shift control option the three button you need to press and with the see uh, with uh, with th three buttons you need to press out your uh, power button as well and your system will start booting right and uh, it will uh, restart for one or two times and your uh, system will then uh, then uh, what to say started with the with the uh, reset M uh, SMC right so this is our uh, method number three now uh, the next method is booting your system in the safe mode right what actually the safe mode uh, is like uh, um, booting with the safe mode uh, is uh, totally like uh, what I could say that uh, we are booting our normal system and what actually happens that uh, when we are starting our system then they have some things like let me show you that that is login items in our users and uh, you will be seeing uh, i have nothing over here but some people have here their login items means uh, the application which should which should get started when as as we uh, boot our system so there are some applications which uh, people used to add over here so in what is actually in safe mode it does that uh, it uh, it isn't uh, uh, it doesn't start that login items right so boot your system in the safe mode so how you can boot your system in the safe mode it's very simple you need to just shut down your system then uh, press and hold your power button you press and hold uh, until you get the startup options after uh, startup options what you need to do that uh, press your shift button and on the uh, there will be two options um, for the um, shown over the um, startup options that is a uh, macintosh hd and second will be options so when you press uh, shift over there and select the macintosh hd it will it will tell you that uh, boot in safe mode like it will tell you like that uh, use safe mode 
So click on to that and it will get started with the safe mode. If, if, if it doesn't work, then you, what you need to do that you need to remove the all the items from the uh, login items because what actually it does that uh, suppose uh, actually the problem with my system was uh, that I was having Chrome over here and I had uninstalled my Chrome because that was uh, having some issues with the uh, with the uh, touch bar. So what actually I did that uh, that uh, uh, whenever the system boots, then the Chrome also gets started and it stops uh, the touch bar to be get shown. So this was the method four, and uh, once it's uh, work fine, uh, you will see that uh, if your touch bar is doesn't having any uh, hardware issue, then you will be seeing that the touch bar is working in the safe mode. So you can boot it in and you will see that touch bar is works in the safe mode. So if your touch bar works in safe mode, then you just need to remove all the elements from your from your login items. You can just add uh, like this. Let's say I wanted to add uh, Skype. I had added it. And for removing it, just select it out and press Y, uh, negative button. So it will remove it out. So these all four methods are for the software related issue. If your MacBook is having hardware related issue, then what you need to do? You need to start your diagnosing, uh, diagnosis of your MacBook. So how you can um, uh, how you can run the diagnosis of your diagnosis of your Mac is just uh, simply um, again shut down your Mac again press the ho hold the power button until you see the startup options and press control D sorry command D press command D and your system will show you some uh, diagnosis will start doing diagnosis will start diagnosis and you will be uh, seeing any issue over there I was um, I saw a issue in my Mac, uh, MacBook that uh, it was there uh, the message was there may be an issue with the touch bar and it was a uh, reference with DFR 001 which says that contact Apple and Apple store for the further service but don't get uh, afraid uh, of that uh, message because it doesn't uh, tell you that it's a hardware or software issue right even diagnosis doesn't tell you that it's a hardware bug hardware uh, fault so what you need to do is that uh, contact apple they will try some methods like reinstallation of your macbook which you will see from the recovery mode you can try that as well because uh, it worked for me so it worked uh, the safe mode worked for me so i didn't try the reinstallation of the mac OS because you can try that solution as well Okay, so this is all about the touch bar issue, which uh, I resolved my issue. So I didn't found any source, any solutions on the uh, YouTube. So I I thought that I should post it for the uh, the peoples so that they will know that uh, how how in how many ways they can um, quick fix their touch bar, right? Because it's a very useful tool for us. So thank you for watching. Thanks and have a good day. I hope your issue will get resolved.